Take a break from your busy schedule and join Harold Sala for Guidelines, a five-minute commentary on living. Eventually, your faith will be challenged, no matter how strong or how weak it may be. It may be challenged by an agnostic professor, or perhaps more likely, it will be challenged by the trials of life. Sooner or later, something happens. Your heart cries out, Lord, I just can't handle this. It may be a child's illness or a marriage that turns sour or a business deal that has not gone well. It happened to Carolyn when her husband announced that he was more in love with his administrative assistant than with her. It happened to one father I know when his little boy died. At the funeral, he caught himself saying, God, I'll get even with you if it's the last thing I ever do. It happened to another friend when his wife died on the operating table, and she had undergone the operation at his urging. The husband said, Lord, I just can't handle this. What do you do when there is something which you cannot handle? Turn and run? Shake your fist in the face of God? Or what? It's the what that I want to talk with you about. Physics teaches that the ability of a superstructure to withstand stress is directly related to the strength of the foundation. Even nature teaches this. When the wind rages, it is the tree whose roots have sunk deep into the earth that is left standing when the calm finally comes. Therefore, one of the ways to prepare for the coming stress, which might cause you to throw up your hands and say, I just can't handle this, is to strengthen the foundation. When the foundation of your faith is shaken, go first of all to the Word of God and take refuge in this grand book. There are dozens of promises with your name attached to them. In the Word, you begin to see life from God's perspective. You begin to think His thoughts. You begin to understand that what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. When your faith is challenged, take a look at the circumstances. Then look at the circumstances of individuals you read about in the Bible. Match up their problem with yours and notice how God met them. Discouraged? Read about Elijah in 1 Kings 19. Feeling the pain of rejection or a broken home? Read the story of Hosea in the Old Testament. Struggling with injustice? Read about Habakkuk, who cried out, How long, O Lord, must I call for help, but you do not listen? Are you suffering physically? Then turn to the book of Job and notice that when Job's faith was tested, he cried out, Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. When I shared a conference with Dr. Lehman Strauss, one morning Dr. Strauss opened his heart and told of the way his own faith had been challenged when his lovely wife of almost 50 years was felled by a stroke. The day finally came when doctors told him that he should remove her from the hospital to a convalescent care facility. Dr. Strauss told her and then said, But Elsie, God is in control. Then he broke down as he cried, Elsie, is God really in control? A man whom I considered to be a spiritual giant struggled as we all do from time to time, but he did not quit. All I could do, he said, was to fall back on the Word of God. My heart is leaning on the Word, wrote Liddy Edmund years ago, the written Word of God, salvation by my Savior's name, salvation through His blood. And that, friend, is our trust and confidence. You've just heard Dr. Harold Sala with Guidelines, a five-minute commentary on living. If you would like to listen to the program again, download a copy, subscribe to our e-commentary, or view other resources, visit guidelines.org. We would like to hear from you, too. You can email us at info at guidelines.org. That's info at guidelines.org. Thanks for listening, and we invite you to join us again for the next edition of Guidelines.